Hello guys, today we will discuss about uh, what are the different methods for uh, mining the outliers in the data mining. So what are the four different types of techniques we are having? So first one is the statistical approach. Next one is the distance based approach. Third one is the density based outlier approach. And fourth one is the deviation based approach. So let's go into the topic. What is meant by statistical distribution based outlier detection means? Uh, Statistics means nothing but the analysis reports. Based upon the analysis reports, we will try to figure out the outliers in the detection process. But here, uh, uh, statistical distribution, it is completely dependent on the distribution functions or the probability models for the given data sets here. So, uh, what type of probability distribution functions we can use it? We can use like a normal distribution functions or poison distribution functions where we can analyze the outliers with respect to the model using the discordancy test what is this discordancy test we will see and the application of the test will requires the knowledge on the data set for any data for any data set a lot of parameters will be there now we should have the complete knowledge on the data data parameters what we are having and what are the distribution functions like what is the mean what is the median what is the mode what is variance how many number of expected outliers we can get it all this uh, application test wise knowledge we should have then only we can identify what are the outliers in the given data sets next uh, how does this discordancy test will work what is meant by discordancy test in the last slide we have seen the the discordancy test so in this uh, statistical discordancy test uh, we are having the two hypotheses will be there one is the working hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis one is working hypothesis and the second one is the alternative hypothesis. What is this working hypothesis means? A hypothesis is represented by the letter H is a statement that the entire data set of N objects comes from the initial distribution model F. Entire objects which will comes from the initial distribution model F. That is H is a hypothesis where and object I will belongs to the distribution function F where i is equal to 1 to n and so on and uh, your discordancy test it will verifies whether the object y is significantly large or small with related to the distribution function f see if a particular object is completely smaller data point then we can consider that particular data point as an outlier or else if that is completely large means then also we can consider that particular object as an outlier so different test statistics have been proposed for use for the discordancy test depending upon the knowledge that is available for the given data sets see assuming that uh, some statistics t has been chosen for the discordancy testing uh, and the value of the statistics for the object y what is the object y value here i am going to represent like o, vi here for the object y then the distribution of the t is constructed here how the distribution of the t is constructed here so based upon the significance probability significance probability is represented by sp of vi is equal to probability of t greater than vi will be evaluated if sp of vi that means the significance probability value is sufficiently small means then y is the discordant and the working hypothesis is rejected if the value is very small then we can consider that out y as an outlier and we can reject the hypothesis whatever we have described the hypothesis that we can reject it this is completely based upon the statistical analysis like our normal distribution functions or the poisson distribution functions next in this discordancy test only we are having the alternative hypothesis is there what is meant by alternative here Alternative hypothesis also we are going to represent with the letter H which it will states that object Y will comes from the another distribution model G is adapted. We are having the F is one distribution model is there and G is the another distribution model is there. So the result is very much dependent on which model F is chosen because Y may be an outlier under one model. If you take any distribution model F, Y can be considered as an outlier in one model and sometimes that particular Y, it can be a perfect valid value under the another distribution functions. So, alternative to both the things may happen. So, in one distribution function, we can consider that point as an outlier. 
but in the another distribution function how can i can consider that particular point as a valid and perfect value under that distribution function so two things may happen alternative in the alternative hypothesis the alternative distribution is very important in determining the power of the test that is the probability that the working hypothesis is rejected when y is really an outlier if the y value is really an outlier then the working hypothesis will be rejected next uh, there are the three different kinds of alternative distribution functions are there that is first one is the inherent alternative distribution functions we will see what is this inherent alternative distribution functions so here uh, the working hypothesis of all the objects come from the distribution function f will be rejected in favor of the alternative hypothesis that all the objects will arise from the another distribution model g all the objects will arise from the another distribution model g where we can represent a, like a h bar we can represent like h bar where object y will belongs to the distribution function g where i is equal to 1 to n so f and g can be represented like different distribution functions uh, and they will differ only in the parameters of the same distribution next one is the mixture alternative distribution function what is this mixture alternative distribution function so mixture alternative it will states that the discordant values are not outliers here so how we are going to detect the outliers here whatever the detected values are there all we are not considering as the now outliers in the f distribution function f but the contaminants from the other population g but a few data values will be there where from the other population g we can find out so in this case the alternative hypothesis is h bar y belongs to 1 minus lambda into f plus lambda g where i is equal to 1 to n so this is the mixture distribution function where here all the outlier all the discordant values we will not consider like the outliers and next one is the slippage alternative distribution function what is meant by slippage alternative distribution function so this alternative states that all the objects arise independently from the initial model f with its given parameters whereas remaining objects are independent observations from whereas the remaining objects are independent observations from the modified version of f in which the parameters have been shifted next there are the two basic types of procedures for detecting the outliers one is the block procedure and the other one is the consecutive procedure what is meant by block procedure here so in this case either all of the suspect objects are treated as the outliers or all of them are accepted as the consistent next one is the consecutive procedure consecutive or sequential procedure what is this consecutive or sequential procedure an example of such a procedure is the inside out procedure here what is the main idea of this consecutive procedure means its main idea is that the object which is least likely to be an outlier will be tested first and if it is considered as an outlier then all of the more extreme values are also considered as the outliers here otherwise suppose if that is not an outlier the least likely object is not an outlier then what we have to do there is the another case like the next most extreme object will be tested if that is not considered as an outlier then we will go for the next most extreme object so like that in some consecutive and some sequential manner we use to test each and every object here so this procedure it tends to be more effective than the block procedure here so in the block procedure sir we will suspect either all the objects as an outlier or all will be detected as the consistent object two basic types of procedures are there for detecting the outliers so what is the how much effective is the statistical approach for the outlier detection here so what are the major drawbacks in that most tests are for the single attribute set many data mining problems are require finding the outliers in the multi dimensional space so statistical methods do not guarantee that uh, all the outliers we can't say that only from the statistical methods or the analysis all the outliers we can find out very easily without doing any testing process it is not the case like that so we are having the another method is there that is called as the distance based outlier detection where we will see this particular uh, uh, distance based outlier detection in the next upcoming video thank you thank you guys thank you for watching the video